Tawakkul means trust in Allah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the power of Tawakkul in this verse. So whoever puts his trust in Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will fulfill his needs. It comes in a narration narrated by Umar Rasul Ta'ala Anhu and Ibn Majah. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, لَوْ أَنَّكُمْ تَوَكَّلْتُمْ عَلَى اللَّهِ حَقَّ تَوَكُّلِهِ لَرَزَقَكُمْ كَمَا يَرْزُقُ الطَّيْرَ تَوْضُهُ قِمَاسًا وَتَرُوحُ بِطَانًا if you were to rely upon Allah with the reliance he is due, you would be given provision like the birds. They go out hungry in the morning and come back with full bellies in the evening. So, subhanAllah, I mean, here we are learning about the uh, value of tawakkul and the benefit of tawakkul upon Allah. And to the point where if we were to rely upon Allah for our provision, he will give it to us similar to how he gives it to birds who in the morning have no clue where they're going to get their provision for the day. And yet when they come back home at the end of the night, they have already found their food somewhere. Allah SWT has provided them. We have to be mindful though that the Tawakkul does not mean to forsake the means of this world that Allah SWT has created for the outcome. Rather, instead of relying solely on the means, one should put his trust in Allah, that no task can be accomplished and no outcome can be achieved unless Allah SWT wills it. Other part of the ayah is, in Allah baligh ami, meaning Allah SWT will execute his decisions for this person in whatever way he wills. However, if this person had put his trust in Allah, Allah SWT will forgive his sins and give him immense reward. So again, if someone could take the means of this world and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may decide to give him that outcome he was expecting. And another person took the means, but he also put trust in Allah. So of course he will get the outcome, but he will also uh, be forgiven his sins and given immense reward. 